Hey everyone, John from Nintendo Life here, and today I am joined by Alex Olney. I'm desperate to go down this rabbit hole. If I said to you, Alex, is Yoshi's Cookie on Nintendo Switch Online? If I, if we didn't know going into this subject that it wasn't, <laughs> would you think <laughs> we, that it if was? If we hadn't planned beforehand, <laughs> I would have said, I would have said most likely yes. You know, it's just a fairly standard puzzle game. It's a Nintendo owned you know, IP. I would have thought, you know what, John? Yes, it is on Nintendo Switch Online, just like Earthbound is. Of course. Uh, people are always asking for Earthbound and Mario RPG, but no one's ever asking for Yoshi's Cookie, because I assume they think it's already on there, and it's just part of their life. But the thing is, Yoshi's Cookie's had a really troubled life ever since the Wii. And we'll go a bit into the history of Yoshi's Cookie, but first I want to tell you about the re-releases of this game. So it came out on NES and Super Nintendo way back when, and it re-released on the Wii Virtual Console like most games of that era did. And the thing is though, before the service ended in 2019, Yoshi's Cookie was long gone before that. So it got delisted in the year 2013, which was around what? the- Yeah, that's, that's like a year after the Wii U. So they, they took it off the service before any of the actual Wii Virtual Console uh, servers were shut down. So they just took it away. Apart from in South Korea. Moving on, the Wii U Virtual Console was announced in April of 2013 in Nintendo Direct. And in this, there's a sizzle reel. And in that sizzle reel is Yoshi's Cookie, which isn't too strange. I mean, the, the game hasn't been delisted on Wii Virtual Console yet, so we assume it's coming along. But it just doesn't release. They show games like Excitebike and Super Metroid and Super Mario World. But Yoshi's Cookie, out of all of these, is the only one that doesn't come out which is very strange, and to this day, there has not been a single re-release of this little Yoshi puzzle game. And why is that, John? We can assume a few things. Um, so let's, let's go back a little bit further. So there's actually two versions of Yoshi's Cookie. There's the NES version and the Super Nintendo version. The NES one came in 1992, and the Super Nintendo one came in 1993, both in Japan. And they did release globally, but slightly different dates and times and things. But they were done by two different studios. So Tosei developed the NES and Game Boy version, and then we've got Bulletproof Software, who made the Super Nintendo version. And it's worth noting, I don't believe the Super Nintendo version has ever re-released. I think the reason for that is because Bulletproof Software actually, uh, they closed their doors in 2001, I think? Yeah, 2001. And they actually own the rights to Yoshi's Cookie the SNES version, don't they? Even though it's got a Nintendo IP on it, it was licensed, wasn't it? That's right. So there's this very strange history with this game. And uh, we can't neglect the other release of Yoshi's Cookie as well, though. Nintendo Puzzle Collection. This came out in 2003, uh, only in Japan. And this included Pound Upon, Dr. Mario 64, which didn't come out in Japan on the N64, so this was their first release of that game, and Yoshi's Cookie. And both Pound Upon and Yoshi's Cookie were brand new games, entire sequels with new art, new puzzles, and everything like that. And this was also developed by Tosei, seemingly. So Tosei have definitely been on board with Yoshi's Cookie over the years, developing the first game and the GameCube version. And they've also been very a part of Nintendo's history. They're the developers of Starfy. <laughs> so, you, yeah. know when, you know when you make Starfy <laughs> that you're not going anywhere? And Super Princess Peach was made by, made by Tosei as well. They've done a lot over the years. So it's just very strange that this game can't see the light of day again. So it's understandable that the Super Nintendo version hasn't re-released, probably because Bulletproof Software's rights are complicated. They're, they're no longer a company, we don't know how that game's going to re-release. But Tosei have been around for a while, and they, they're still present, they're still working with Nintendo. They were, they're responsible for the Switch port of Breath of the Wild. <laughs> so they, uh, <laughs> they, um, they assisted with Famicom Detective Club, they, they, they assisted with Paper Mario Color Splash and Origami King. So it would be very odd if they just said, nah. Don't re-release Yoshi's, Yoshi's Cookie. We don't want anything to do with that game. What What is this about, Alex? Did you... Uh, d you didn't say the Breath of the Wild thing in earnest, did you? No, they, they actually are responsible for the Switch port. What? Yeah, Tosei... <laughs> they they, they uh, helped with the de development of Breath of the Wild um, in Switch optimization. Oh my god, I can see that now. You need to keep this in now because I genuinely thought you were just mucking around. <laughs> no, these guys are really tight to Nintendo, but they won't re-release this little Yoshi puzzle game. Why? What happened to Yoshi? As in just the character? Well, that's the thing. That is the thing. So if you look past um, 2013, which was the last release of this game, Yoshi has been in a really strange place. And I'm not sure we've actually seen 
the original Yoshi in years. And I'm, I'm fully aware Yoshi is a species, but there is a particular Yoshi that we focus on with the platforming games. And just regular old green Yoshi? Where's he been? I suppose the last time we saw him properly, but it wasn't even his own game. Like the original Yoshi, not made of wool, made of craft or anything like that would have maybe been Super Mario Party, but we're never told canonically when Super Mario Party takes place. It could have taken place in the 80s. Yeah, we just don't know. And Super Mario Party in and of itself seems like a remake of the first game in its context. Like the opening is a, it's just a mirrored version of the first Mario Party. So I have to believe that takes place in the 90s. That's a very good point. Good eye, good eye. I hadn't, uh, I hadn't noticed that. So if this Super Mario Party is taking place in the 90s, and I know we've got Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but those aren't the real characters, are they? They are trophies or they're, you know, sort of any other form. They're not the real characters. I think that's been established. You know, like the wool Yoshi and the crafted Yoshi that I mentioned. I, I, I would say they're the newest Yoshis that we've seen, That, but they're not. Yoshi, are they? They're no. facsimiles. Yeah, the, it's clear Yoshi's gone missing, and Nintendo have just gone to a craft shop, and they want to just make us think he's still here. And the thing is, too, like, Mario Tennis Aces, Ultra Smash, Mario Golf Super Rush, they're made by a studio called Camelot. Do you really think that takes place in the modern day? God, no. It's insulting to even say that, and Nintendo seem really comfortable in Woolly World to just give us different versions of Yoshi, like just being able to scan him in and make him look like Shulk. There's, e there's even a mega, like a mega yarn Yoshi. What's that about? And even that the Yoshis themselves as a species within Woolly World can be disassembled into their constituent parts of wool on a whim and then put back together. That's not, that's not a sentient race, is it? No, absolutely not. And I hear what people are saying. Like there are other Yoshi games on Virtual Console. Sure, yeah, okay. But scroll through Nintendo Switch Online and show me a game starring Yoshi. You can't do it. It can't be done. I mean, there's another puzzle game called Yoshi, which is a separate game to Yoshi's Cookie, uh, but that is also not on Nintendo Switch Online. Isn't Yoshi's Island on Nintendo Switch Online? I mean, that's that, that's Super Mario World 2. <laughs> that's true. Completely different. <laughs> So let's lay out a timeline here. So, Yoshi is prevalent. He's alive, he's well, he lays eggs, he does his thing, uh, you know, sort of he goes through dum de dum de dum and then all of a sudden 2013 happens. Yoshi's cookie is removed from the Wii Virtual Console everywhere except South Korea. So Yoshi is still alive in South Korea at this point on the timeline and then suddenly gone. We never see that original Yoshi again. Not not once. No. And Yoshi sticks around in South Korea until 2019. Six years after he disappears from the rest of the world. I'd love to travel to South Korea as much as anyone, but I can't help but feel that that sounds like maybe Yoshi didn't have a choice. Oh. And 2019 as well, Yoshi was, he was alive and thriving. The Wii U was somewhat alive. And like, it, was, it was alive on Wii, Wii Virtual Console, but still, in South Korea, it didn't come to Wii U Virtual Console. They were, they were just keeping that version of the game and not letting anything else escape. It was just that one Yoshi's Cookie version on Wii. So do you think Yoshi is still in South Korea? Or do you think man, maybe he escaped? Is he on the run? Is he, you know, trying to avoid the authorities? You know, Miyamoto going around with a magnifying glass? I, I know the whole Yoshi avoiding tax thing is a meme, but in uh, Fortune Street, known here as Boom Street, he actually does say he doesn't want to pay taxes on sometimes. If he doesn't have any money, he says, oh, I don't want to pay taxes or something along those lines. I think there's way more to it than that. I think Yoshi's Cookie was a franchise. It was, it was more, you know, within the world of Nintendo, it was a franchise, it was a booming business, but a booming business with either tax problems or, I don't wish to sound too accusatory, but maybe tax evasion? And we have seen several times Yoshi has wanted to come to the West again. It, Nintendo Puzzle Collection, Japan 2003. It was actually announced for the West at one point. Uh, in Nintendo Power, and also on stage floors, uh, there's a localized title for Nintendo Puzzle Collection in English. So clearly this game was meant to come. So why didn't it? Is it because there is a game starring fairies? Or is it because of Yoshi? 
it's probably Yoshi. I think it must be, yeah. So this has been a dark-rooted problem for a long time. Yoshi's cookie was allowed to come out for a bit, but its time in the sun just couldn't last. The cookie has melted <laughs> and our hearts are broken. A bit of trivia too, the Super Nintendo version had puzzles made by Alexei Pajinov. And what's interesting about that is he, re he regrets Tetris Attack. He regrets using his brand for that. But somehow, he was okay with Yoshi's Cookie. We should also mention that Alexei is the, um, he's the developer of Tetris, so he's, he's, a big, he's a big guy in the industry. And the fact that he worked on Yoshi's Cookie, the Super Nintendo version, which has lost the time now. It m makes the mind boggle. I mean, they're both puzzle games, and at the end of the day, puzzle games boil down to mathematics. Mathematics is absolutely imperative when it comes to working out your tax return. Oh and if Yoshi has indeed been avoiding, uh, evading tax, then maybe that's what it all comes down to. Maybe Alexei Pajitnov was there, and he was trying to send a message by making puzzles in Yoshi's Cookie, saying, this character is a fraud. They are <laughs> avoiding tax, and they are a drain on society. I think some people need to dig deep into the SNES version of Yoshi's Cookie and try and find that message for us. Because right now, we're in scrambles. We, we have an idea of what's going on. We know Yoshi's in South Korea somewhere. We know he's avoiding his taxes. But it, I think the message just all lies in the Super Nintendo version. And Nintendo won't let us have it. They won't, they just won't let us. I would just like for legal reasons to say that we are not accusing Yoshi at this time, but we are merely extrapolating from the data we are given. Nintendo, please don't show us up by just releasing Yoshi's Cookie on, on Nintendo Switch Online, because that's going to ruin all of our assumptions. It's going to ruin all our fun. We'll, we'll get the email <laughs> shortly after this goes live, won't yeah. we? We only want to help you, Yoshi. Yeah, that's we, all we want. That's all we want. So please go to the subscribe button and help us free Yoshi and make him happier and healthier again. This is a intervention, Yoshi. Please come back. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Please come home, Yoshi.